I'm Riley Hegarty. My artwork is a commentary on what it was like for me being in school and being autistic um, and not knowing it. I didn't get diagnosed till I was 10, so I lived like 10 years thinking something was wrong with me. But then once I got a diagnosis, I was able to start to think like more of myself and realize that, okay, like, you know, these things that everyone my whole life is telling me were like a bad thing, they aren't. So I met Riley on January 6th. It was a really nice show. It's called Evolving Perspectives at the Loading Dock Gallery. And just walking around, um, one of the exhibits just drew my eye and I went right to the TV and I said, this just speaks to me. And I looked inside and I read it and it just like spoke to my heart. Um, I do not have autism. I have a neurodivergence of ADHD, but um, it spoke to me. Last year, my junior year, the beginning of the year, I was in advanced art and it was just like an introduction assignment and I tried to make something about like masks on like, like theater masks on a stage to physically represent masking. I feel like that was the first piece that was directly like, I was like, yes, this is what it's about. That same unit, I smashed up a TV to put, <laughs> to put um, a artwork in there. In it, I had behavioral charts. I had like rules, like strict rules that were supposed to be followed and like what ha would happen if you did it. Um, and then I had like me comforting my younger self. And so I looked around to find who the, the artist was and I found Riley and um, I just started connecting with her and I asked her if she would like to do um, an art show at City Hall. The name of the show is Art Thou Neurodivergent. I really wanted to give students the opportunity to showcase art in a judgment-free zone um, because that goes back to me wanting to help others who can't speak up. Um, by me creating this show, my goal was I really wanted to give them, you know, the space to be like free with themselves um, because it can be very scary putting your artwork out there, but it's less scary when everyone else who's also putting their artwork out is neurodivergent with you. It actually came together very easy to bring people together to a show like this to celebrate neurodivergence because I think one, Riley made it happen and she's very well connected to the world of neurodivergence from some of the work that she's done um, with younger children. And I think that there was, a, there was a, a knowledge out there that people have of somewhat, but also a curiosity and also a willingness to learn. So I think that brought the community together and was, it, there was a lot of excitement about the exhibit. I think that an event like this can um, celebrate uh, neurodivergence and neurodiversity and um, in incorporate inclusion and um, spread sort of that, that idea of acceptance and belonging um, by just demonstrating um, having an exhibit with a myriad of different um, ages and neurodivergence just listening after and just following people around and, and at answering their questions and uh, listening to their comments and making comments on their comments, um, I think was really helpful and I think impactful. I feel like Lowell is a very diverse city. I never thought that like I would be approached by someone to be like, hey, you wanna do an art show in City Hall? And then within like the next week and a half, it having be booked. So I think with the city being um, so accepting to new projects and different types of people that can give people like me who like are sort of new to the art world specifically, it can give them the support they need and the confidence to be able to continue on that path. I, I think people have a lot to learn, but we all have a lot to learn. And so I think as the world is starting to move away from a medical model to a more social model, to looking at the person and the individual, as opposed to this is a medical in a disability, taking away the ability and bringing back the ability. I think that's a wonderful way to look at that. And I think that did a wonderful job at the exhibit for people to come together, ask questions and learn more about neurodivergence. I feel like it's more of a personal thing. Um, because the way I would I see it, it's more of a community, and there's a neurodivergent community, and then neurodivergent people, people whose just brains process, learn, and think differently from what people what is considered normal, but there really isn't a normal anymore. 
we don't really like to use awareness because people are aware of autism. They know that it exists. We don't need to be more aware. Um, but we would just like to be accepted and helped into a world that isn't made for us.